Doctor, I want to talk about salt. Um, a lot of people have high blood pressure, so stay away from salt. But we need it. Well, salt is an essential nutrient. Sodium and chloride, you cannot have nerve impulses without sodium chloride. They're an integral part of the biochemical system of nerve transmission. You cannot move water around in your body or retain it in the right compartments inside your blood vessels, inside your tissues, inside the cells. You can't keep things in the right compartment without sodium chloride. The chief cells in your stomach cannot make stomach acid without salt. Okay? Salt is the raw material. Sodium chloride is the raw material to make hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Now, two things have happened because of this terrible criminal advice that doctors have given. It's criminal. Anybody else do this to the American people, they'd be put in jail for life. Some of them would be executed because of the number of people who are killed over this. Right? <clears throat> salt is required to make stomach acid. You don't have enough stomach acid, you get reflux, incorrectly called acid reflux. It's reflux. Mm -hmm. Reflux is caused by insufficient amounts of stomach acid, not too much stomach acid. So doctors have even named it the wrong thing, right? And basically, um, you get reflux when you don't have enough stomach acid to keep your stomach environment sterile. So yeast begin to grow in there, so you eat carbohydrates and sugar. They ferment that, produce gas, uh-oh, heartburn, pressure, reflux. Mm -hmm because you have all these things growing in your stomach. Okay, when you get a pH too high, you get a pH above four, all these things begin to grow. You have a pH under one, your pepsin works to digest proteins, and you can absorb minerals, you can absorb B12. If your pH gets above two, two and a half, you can't do that. Okay, so you're in trouble. I mean, you can take tons of iron supplementation, and if you don't have any stomach acid, you can't absorb iron. Now, here comes the most terrible thing that's happened to America because of this inappropriate advice. Well, there's two things. One, you go back to 1995, <clears throat> 750 people died during a triple-digit heat wave in Chicago. It was a two-week heat mm -hmm. wave, 1995, I believe it was. 750 people died here in Chicago, and thousands of people fell out w with heat stroke. And the first thing they give them intravenously on the way to the hospital to get heat stroke is saline solution, which is... Salt water. Salt water, yeah. And it's absolutely criminal that these 750 people who died were all ones who were on a salt-restricted diet. They're all seniors who were on a salt-restricted diet. They died of heat stroke because of, these doctors didn't have the courtesy to call these people up in good manners just to call up and say, look, whether you believe in the salt-restricted diet or not, right now you need to put a couple of tablespoons of salt in a gallon of water and be sipping on that until the heat wave goes away. But they didn't do that. And so all those people who died of heat stroke, who were under the care of doctors, who were on a restricted salt diet, those doctors should be put in jail, okay? For almost like the same thing as vehicular homicide, the same type of thing as uh, manslaughter, right? That type of thing. Um, then here comes the big one. Right now, on the average, from this is a Mayo Clinic study, came out in 2009. They said that as many as 30%, 30 people out of 100 in America now have celiac disease and have trouble absorbing nutrients. And as a result, there's people with 25 legitimately diagnosed diseases, which are all nutritional deficiency diseases. They're going to 18 different specialists for all this. And they're paying you know, tens of thousands of dollars a day to deal with this and simply a gluten intolerance and they can't, their intestines are damaged, they can't absorb nutrients. Well, when you can't digest wheat, barley, round oat, glutens, and you absorb these big chunks of what's called polypeptides, your body recognizes and uh, sets up an intolerance to those partially digested proteins, you get gluten intolerance. You get celiac disease, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. And the doctor's approach to these diseases are cut your intestines out. I can't understand how they, you know, you have a malabsorption problem, they want to cut your intestines out. That's really dumb. But at any rate, because they have you on a Salt-restricted diet, you cannot make stomach acid, so your pepsin won't work, and you cannot digest proteins, including the protein of wheat, barley, round oats. Now, again, there's a big research project come out in 2009 that said, uh-oh, it used to be people got celiac disease when they were kids. And if you recognize it, you can save them from all these terrible diseases because you can get them off of gluten and they'd be fine. Well, now people who could 
eat gluten with impunity. They were really big on eating wheat, barley, round oats, no problems. And suddenly now at age 50 or 60, they become gluten intolerant. Well, that's because over the years on a salt-restricted diet, they couldn't digest wheat, barley, round oat glutens down to their simplest amino acids. Big chunks called polypeptides are being absorbed. They set up an intolerance to it. And now at age 50, 60, we have 80 out of 100 people mm -hmm. with gluten intolerance because of this criminal advice to restrict salt. 